Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you don't miss any of my videos. Today I'm filming a Princess Polly haul. Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. As you can probably tell, I got a lot more pieces that are more colorful instead of my basic neutral hauls. So I'm really excited to share these pieces with you guys. I do have a discount code to share with you guys. It's Sonali20 and it'll get you 20% off your order. I know there are a lot more events coming up sorority rushes around the corner so if you guys need something in a bind i feel like princess Polly shipping is amazing because they ship from within the united states and you qualify for free express shipping if your order is over 50 dollars also they offer after pay and shop pay i actually have two trips coming up they're actually back to back so i'm not sure if i should vlog them comment down below if i should i'm going to nola though and i felt like i needed some color in my life for nola so hence the orange and and I got like a green, really pretty dress. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. Let's get into the haul and don't forget to use my code. All the links will be in the description with my sizings as well. I feel like with all my Princess Polly hauls, I always start with dresses. So we're gonna keep that tradition going and I wanted to show you guys this beautiful pink ruffled dress. And as you can tell, I feel like every haul I've done with them, it started off like with neutrals, then it would be like one pop of like matcha green and then I got more into color and this one's definitely my most colorful haul so starting off with well actually this is more like a neutral pink i guess but it is so cute it is very flattering it definitely hugs me but i feel like it hugs me in all the right places it also has adjustable straps and that is always a win for me honestly i don't even know what i would consider my style like i don't know if i'm super girly or super boho or whatever but i feel like if you're super girly this would be the perfect like birthday dress and i'm pretty sure a bunch of these clothes that i'm about to show you guys does come in different colors so if you guys love this dress and maybe pink is not for you, definitely go check out the links down below because it might come in a different color. And here is a close up of the dress to see those like really cute like ruffle details. The next one is actually a two piece set. We got a little green in the hall. Um, and I love this little texture we have going on. I always call it like ruching. I'm not really sure what this material is actually called. Comment down below if you guys know the name. But it is a two piece set and I'm not really sure if they're supposed to be like overlapping or if like my skin's supposed to show because then like this bunches up so I'm not really sure how to style it just yet. Even though the green is definitely more on the muted side, it still makes me feel really feminine. I bet you guys know what Alabama Rush Talk is and I feel like this is definitely something that they would wear. Maybe like a little less of this so maybe i know you can like adjust this so you can like tie it a little bit tighter so that there's not much cleavage but i don't know if you guys know this but i was in a sorority and i was obsessed with greek life i literally made so many videos about greek life also comment down below if you guys have been watching me since i was at ucf and katie i'm just vicariously living through these girls in alabama rush talk picking out all their outfits doing their ootds you know i just freaking love it all okay i'm kind of shook over this dress right now I actually saw it on this girl named Rayanne's TikTok literally last night and I knew I had ordered this so I was like so excited to get it. It looks so beautiful, like the color, the the cut of it, it just like looks so flattering. I really wanted to wear this to Nola and my only concern was that it was gonna be like too hot and humid. But I feel like the dress is pretty breathable and like the sleeves aren't like right on your skin, like they're not too tight. So it's not like you would be really sweating through it. It does feel like you can like get a little breeze in it. So I'm definitely gonna pack this and just like feel it out for when I get there. But I'm really hoping I can wear this because it is just so beautiful. We're done with dresses. So now we're gonna get into some bottoms and tops. So we'll start off with this outfit. First, I want to talk about this top. It is a beautiful blue color, and I know we're going into fall, but you know, I'm trying to like do the whole color thing while I can in the summer. It has this really cool detail right here. You can actually unhinge it, um, and this thing kind of reminds me of what's on like a waist trainer. I don't know if you guys have ever had that, but it's kind of like little hooks um, instead of buttons, so I thought that was kind of cool. You can put it all the way up, or if you wanted to have a little bit more cleavage, you can just unhinge it like that. But I feel like this top reminds me of something Hannah Ann would wear, or maybe just like this color, but definitely giving me Hannah Ann vibes. Next we have these amazing denim shorts. I feel like Princess Polly is definitely known for their asymmetrical jeans. I have 
one in white and one in just like a blue color and I love those jeans. So when I saw the shorts, I had to get them. Unfortunately, they are a little bit snug on me, but I'm currently trying to lose a couple pounds. So I'm honestly gonna use these shorts as my motivation. I feel like they're fine for like standing up and stuff and they don't look like they're like cutting off my circulation, but I feel like when I sit down, it's not gonna be too comfortable. But I do appreciate how high-waisted these are. I just, I don't know, I cannot get into the low rise again. I just can't. Here's the next top. I actually recently got something similar to this, but I actually had an open back, so I had some trouble like deciding what bra I was gonna wear with it. The reason why I got this top is because the back is all covered, so you just need one of those butterfly clips, you know, when you take your bra straps in the back, put them together, and like clip them, um, cause it's kind of like a razor back, I don't know. It's probably easier to show you guys. The preppy style is definitely coming back, so I'm loving like anything colored lately. You can never have too many basics in your closet, and I thought this top would be perfect for like a transitional piece into fall, since it is like that kind of sage green color. I was thinking I could wear this top and then some like high-waisted trousers of some sort. I think that would be super cute. Things about this top that makes it a little bit more unique is that it does come a little bit lower down the sides, um, but I'm wearing a regular bra now and it's pretty hidden, so I was kind of surprised surprised about that. I thought I would have to like wear a specialty bra with it. I really do like this top because I feel like it gives me that model off duty kind of look. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen that I'm obsessed with just layering these types of button down shirts with basic tops like this and just jean shorts or just like high-waisted jeans. It truly is just an effortless look and it's definitely been one of my go-tos recently. I also thought that this top would be a perfect transition piece from summer to fall. Um, obviously, it's like that perfect neutral color that I'm obsessed with and it has these like shoulder pads which gives you a little bit more structure than just a normal shirt it is kind of like this crop top and it has these little um, cinchers what do you call them I don't even know but you can like tie them adjust them make it shorter if you want you can like just make it long but I feel like when you wear it long it just looks so boxy so this is what I've been doing just like I'm rolling it under and making it cropped like that. I totally forgot about these shorts, but I wanted to show you guys this full outfit because this is the exact outfit I was wearing to brunch yesterday. I've actually been searching for, I think they're called like pleated shorts. Weirdly, during the pandemic, I've been so into like this workwear style. And so I love like trousers. I love these like pleated shorts kind of things. Just like definitely more modest than what I used to like before, which is interesting. So when I saw these on their site, I was like, okay, done deal, I have to get them. And then actually I was wearing these shoes yesterday with this full outfit. They have like a crocodile texture and I feel like white heels are so in right now, especially like the strappy ones, but I wanted to go with something a little bit more simple for my first white heels. We got another button down shirt and I am obsessed with this, holy crap. It is actually a dress, I don't know why I said shirt. I think it's actually named something dress. I love the loose fit. I don't know if I would like belt it or anything, but I think that's what you could do to like style it if you wanted just like more of a curvy figure. But I could also see myself wearing this as a pool cover up or on a boat or a beach. I've been doing that with all my button downs recently, just like throwing it over my swimsuit because sometimes, you know, when you just ate like a sandwich before the pool and you're not feeling so extremely confident about yourself, it's kind of nice to just like have something around you, um, but also show off your swimsuit at the same time. I'm actually going to Nashville after I go to NOLA for a bachelorette trip and I think there is a boat day planned, which I'm so excited about because, you know, summer is ending and I just need to get one more boat day in. So I think I'm gonna wear this over my swimsuit. It's just gonna be so cute. You guys know I had to save the best for last and I'm obsessed with the freaking style of this top. I love it. I'm actually not wearing a bra right now, so that makes me feel so good that I can do that. And we also have these denim jeans and they're actually like a flared kind of cut. Oh my God, wait. <laughs> My foot's like stuck. As I was saying, it has some like distressing on the bottom. It definitely has more of a like boxy kind of flare, which I really enjoy because I just love that like mom jean vibe. I am really sad because I feel like my settings on my camera is not bringing out like the orange of this top because I have it like a little bit more muted, but it is kind of just like 
not a highlighter orange, but it definitely is like a bright orange. I feel like all bright colors just look so good against my summer tan. I know you guys feel that too. So I'm definitely trying to take advantage of that while I can. So that is it of this Princess Polly haul. I'm so excited to style everything and take some Instagram pictures. If you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It's so underscore gnarly without the G. And just a reminder that all of the links and sizing will be below. So if you saw anything in this video that caught your eye, definitely go use my code SNOLLY20 to save some money. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!